So the menu that we are going to review in this video is operate menu. This menu requires a minimum at the minimum base development system. The operate menu contains items we use to control the operation of our VIs. We can also access items for debugging VIs. Some menu items are available only on specific operating systems with specific LabVIEW development systems. When an item in the Project Explorer window is selected or when a VI is selected. So the first menu item that we are going to see is run. Uh, this uh, executes the VI and we can also use the same functionality from this toolbar button. Next item is available when a VI is running and that is stop. It stops the VI before it completes execution. We should avoid using the stop menu item to quit a VI because it can leave the system in an unstable state. We should use a boolean switch like this one or similar device to stop any VI that continuously executes. So the next item is step into. It is similar to this button over here. So let's use it. Step into. LabVIEW highlights the function that it is going to execute and then we can start stepping through the items For, it is used for a debugging. Once we have done the we can debugging we can use step over to step over a function that is going to be executed and without going inside that particular function if it is a VI it steps over without going into it and stepping into it. Step over is something, something similar to this function. Next we have step out which completes the uh, diagram and uh, ends uh, our uh, stepping operation. It is also similar to this uh, function on the debug toolbar. Next option is, so suppose we have this sub VI and we would like to suspend execution when the code reaches this part and so we will launch it and then we can select this option suspend when called. Next save it with this uh, option run the VI. And when we reach, reach the part of the code, which, which we will when we press this button, then that VI will be called in a suspended manner. It, it is suspended and not executing. We can then run the VI. So the code executes. or we can return to the caller and it comes back return to the caller run the VI return to the caller or we can abort execution of the VI or we can pause it We can also achieve the same functionality by using the property node found in the execution subsection uh, called uh, suspend on 
suspend on call this function achieves the same functionality so the next option is print at completion and when we run the VI and we are done with the VI and press stop then a dialog box appears asking us for where to save this VI and with what name so let's save it on the desktop and there it appears let's open it in uh, in our browser and there it appears the front panel is shown in the PDF file is saved and we can then later use it for documentation this option is also available from file menu then VI properties and then a print options and then we can turn this option on automatically print front panel every time VI completes exe and we can also access this uh, programmatically if we go to property node auto logging print at finish this will achieve the same functionality so the next option is the next option is log at completion if we turn it on and run the VI it will ask us where to place the log let's place it on the desktop click OK and the VI starts running and when you are done you press the stop button the VI is done and then the, your log is created on the uh, desktop it's a it's a binary format and uh, your data is now logged into this uh, uh, file and we can also programmatically uh, log this uh, data using the property node found in the auto logging and then log at finish this will achieve the same functionality so next few options are from the data logging sub palette the first one is log when we choose it for the first time a direct box appears asking us for a name and a place where to place the log file after that if we change the front panel values and we then go to the operate menu after we have logged it then we can also retrieve it and the retrieve values are then saved and the number of the values that we have saved are all here so the first value that I had saved and the second value that I had saved are retrieved and then the controls and indicators are uh, populated uh, uh, by it the next option is as you can see there is this delete option we can delete the selected record but this does not occur until we go to data logging and say purge data this deletes all the data records that we mark for deletion and then they are no longer available 
as you can see that only record number 0 is now available. So the next uh, option is uh, change data log file binding and when we select this a new dialog box appears where we can uh, give a new name to the new data log file that we want to log into. If we select OK and then we want to save some values we go to operate and then we log data and then the new file is created and data is now logged into it and now we are now using this uh, new uh, file if we uh, retrieve data it's retrie retrieved from the uh, new new file then we have the last menu which is a clear data log file binding which clears the log file binding we are no longer bound to any file now and if we go to log then a new dialog box will appear asking us to specify the log file so normally you are in the edit mode and when you right click you have uh, lots of uh, options available and yeah, then you right click the palettes are available and so on so much uh, so is the case with block diagram and the menus are mostly available but if you go to the operate menu and you select change to run mode first note that the grid line is gone and when you right click then a limited set of options are available you can only change the values of the front panel if you right click no menu is available so is the case on the block diagram if you go to the menus only the relevant menus are available most of them are then not available and then you can when you are in the run mode then you go to the operate menu then the change to edit mode is available which you can press and then turn back into edit mode as, as you can judge from this grid line which appears on the front panel the next option is connect to remote panel in which you can the connect to remote panel dialog box appears where you can uh, enter the address of the VI of the server of the PC where you want to connect to the port number the VI name then you can press this uh, button uh, this checkbox to request the control if you want to get the control of the VI and you can see here uh, the status bar and then you can press the connect button if you are connected uh, you want to connect to when, when you have specified these settings the last option is debug application or shared library this option allows you to connect to a shared library or an executable if you created an executable with debugging enabled then you can connect to it after specifying its address then you can connect to it and then you can debug that exe or the shared library